I'm really starting to realize that one of the big advantages that I have with my eBay business is the time that I'm able to dedicate to it. I don't have any kids. I don't work a nine to five job. This is really all I do. I can put all of my time into focusing on growing this thing as quickly as I possibly can. But I know for a lot of you guys out there, you do have kids and you work a nine to five job and you've got a whole lot more responsibility than I do in other aspects of your life. And I really want to kind of try and tap into that today, have a bit of a think about it, put myself in the shoes of someone that does work the nine to five and what could you do to try and help your eBay business be a little bit more efficient? And one thing I think is a really good thing to pay attention to is what are you doing on your lunch break? Which brings us to today's challenge, the lunchtime speed run. We're gonna be going to three stores. We can only spend 60 minutes in here and I really wanna try and find $250. So let's get it. First thing that I spotted here was this Brisbane Lions pair of footy shorts. Now, I really love buying the AFL merch and uh, look for 10 bucks, a size small isn't ideal, but as you can see there, they do go for about 60 bucks. So I've gone ahead and picked that up for the 10. Uh, I moved over into my natural habitat, the DVDs, and I had a bit of a sift through and unfortunately there wasn't. So I asked to see if there was any out the back. Are there any more, any more DVDs coming out at all? Uh, Nothing? Not, not this morning, no, oh, okay. they may be this afternoon. Ah, okay. Yeah. There's nothing in here this price. I can see something you want more for you, but you're yeah. welcome to have a look. Thank you so much. Well, 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 guys, we've got a fresh tub of DVDs here just by asking the question. And uh, look, unfortunately, it was a lot of Region 2 DVDs. The number 12 there is a dead giveaway that these don't necessarily play in Australia. They might, but generally they don't. Mrs. Brown, um, this one here, Her Majesty, goes for about 20 bucks. So there was a little winner in that little mix there. So there wasn't a ton in there, guys. I only got the pair of shorts and that one single DVD, but I think the lesson to be learnt in there is just to always ask the staff if there is anything that you're particularly after from out the back. I mean, that box of DVDs came out. It could have had hundreds of dollars worth of value, considering there were no other eyes previously on it. I was the first to have a look, but unfortunately, the Judy Dench DVD for $2 is all we could come away with. But that goes on to sell for 20 bucks, and it's 20 bucks that I didn't have if I didn't ask the question. But the, the Brisbane Lions shorts, they should go for about 30 bucks, so all up, $50 there and I paid just the 12 bucks to get my hands on it. So a good 20 to $25 worth of profit. It took two seconds in that thrift store to go and work it out. We've still got a little bit left in our lunch break. So let's keep moving. Oh boy, guys, I got pretty excited when I saw these three pairs of shoes. Shoes have been very tough for me to come by over the last few weeks. So to find these for, well, it was 20 bucks a piece, but I'm not too perturbed by that because they're a good size, US size 11. These shoes here go for about 65 to $70. I'm gonna comfortably say I'll get $50 for them. Uh, these as well, look, they were pretty good. I actually ended up passing on them just because my shoe sales haven't been so great of late. Um, so for 20 bucks, I thought that was just slightly too much of an investment given the quality and the condition of those. The condition is what I'm focusing on when I'm buying my shoes, guys, because I just think the ones that are in great nick, close to being like new, are the ones that are gonna sell best. These ones here, geez, I could have gone ahead and picked these ones up. They did fit the mold of a really good quality pair of shoe. They go for about 60 bucks. For $20, I've just got a little bit nervous around my shoes. So in the end, I only took the first pair there for 20 bucks. Let me know what you would have done. Uh, I moved into a section that I used to play in quite a bit. The OGs of this channel uh, will certainly remember those days, but I used to flip a lot of furniture on Facebook Marketplace. These bedside tables, well, they were really speaking to me. For $30, that is an absolute steal. They could have easily gone into about 150 bucks on Marketplace, but that's not what I'm doing anymore, guys. I'm gonna leave it up for one of you guys out there to get into the furniture game and make yourself a few bucks. Back into the shoe category, and I found another couple in the women's section. We've got the Glide Ride 2s here for 20 bucks. Look at the condition, look at the quality. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. I think I can turn them pretty safely into about 50 bucks. They were a women's size nine. And then the absolute mecca of running shoes, in my opinion, the Asics Gel Kayano. These are the 23s. They should go into about 50 bucks yet again. Some good comps on eBay around about that $60 price point. And the condition, not too bad. I think I should be able to go ahead and turn those. So in the end, that little run there, we ended up grabbing the three pairs of shoes for 55. Pretty happy to come away with three pairs of Asics. They should all go for about 50 bucks each. So we're talking $150 worth of revenue. 
uh, and I've only paid the $55. So um, take fees and postage, that's probably netting a $60 profit, $20 a pair, uh, which in this market with shoes, which is now a lot tougher for me to go on to sell, uh, I'm not getting as much of an average sale price as I used to. Uh, these are a really good three pairs of quality shoes that will all go on to do well. I'm making this video today to really kind of hit home at the fact that you can always try to better optimize your time. Time is so important if you can dial in a really good structure, a really good routine to get all of your eBay stuff done and also still have time for the social stuff that you need in your life, uh, you're gonna go a long way to having success long-term on eBay. So maybe this lunch break session that we're doing today can be something that you can incorporate into your weekly routine. Maybe it's one day a week that you can get out for that one hour and do some local sourcing. If it's not three op shops like I'm going to today, it might just be your one closest store and it might even be a bad store, but you're just gonna make the effort to go in at least once, maybe twice a week and spend your 45 minutes worth of a lunch break in there because the last thing you wanna be doing is only sourcing on the weekends. The weekends are probably the worst time to source if you're going out to you know op shops basically. Um, so you wanna be trying to get out during the week, you wanna be better utilizing your time rather than sitting on your phone having your Subway takeaway for lunch, why don't you go out into the thrift, grab some takeaway sushi, and get to work? Because that's where you're gonna make all your money. What do you wanna look at? Um, I'm gonna look at all the DVDs. So basically just those. Oh, okay. That one, that one. Just I'll put this one. Thank you. These? Yeah, we'll go those. Uh, the two Harry Potters there as well. Thank you. Uh, and then uh, we'll look at just the How I Met Your Mother here. Thank you. Uh, and just these four. Oh, I know, hey? It's all about timing in here. Thank you. Awesome. Great. Uh, one more, I think. Thank you very much. That's awesome. All right, we were pushing for time, so I just went ahead and grabbed them, and the lady in there is really nice, and she said, look, count them all up, see what it's worth, and then I'll give you a bulk discount. So I ended up getting all of them for $70, but I don't actually know how much they're worth. So I'm gonna jump in the car, comp them up, and I'll see how much value there is. So here's what I'm gonna do. I, I film on my phone, so I can't actually sit here on camera and start scanning them all up and talking to you. So I'm actually just gonna guess, and I'm gonna see how accurate I am with my guesses before I go ahead and comp them out. I'm gonna put up here at the top of the screen what it's actually worth, and I'm gonna put it up here on what I ultimately guessed it was worth, and we'll see how close I can get. Um, the first one that I've got here is Harry Potter. This is a brand new and sealed it's the complete eight film collection, which is just brilliant. And the fact that it's brand new, I think this one could be one of the better ones that we've got. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's worth $60 in brand new condition. So fingers crossed that could be the case. Uh, the next one here, we've got 13 disc set of the ultimate collector's edition of Superman. Um, so a good little box set there. Um, I paid $70, as you know, so we're talking about $7 in. I think that one there might go for about $30, something like that. Um, the next one, I've got Twilight. We've got Twilight Zone, the original series. It's just a season four copy here. Um, so just being one season, I'll quickly say $15 for that one there. Um, the next one that we've got is How I Met Your Mother, season one to five of How I Met Your Mother. I don't think this is worth too much because I know that the series doesn't really go that great in complete entirety. This is a part one to five, so 20 bucks, I'm gonna say, for that one there. Um, we've got another Harry Potter. I almost didn't go ahead with this Harry Potter because it's a region two, only a region two only. So uh, it might take a long time to sell, but I'll say 20 bucks on that one there. It's again, the complete eight film collection in pre-owned condition. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, go with, we'll go with 20 on that one. Um, these could be interesting. These could be really interesting. We've got Inspector Gadget, the original series. I'm paying just two bucks a piece and I've got box sets number one and two there. I haven't seen this one before, so this one, this one could be anything. I'm gonna say 20 bucks a piece. I'm gonna say 40 bucks for the two of them there. Uh, so that's that bag done. I've got another brand new and sealed here. We've got Downtown, uh, Downton Abbey seasons one to three, but it is brand new and sealed. So I'm gonna say 30 bucks for that one. 
uh, which would be nice if that was the case. This could be an interesting one as well. The Jamie Oliver collection. Jamie Oliver collection there. Uh, we've got a complete entirety of six in the complete set there. Pre-owned condition. 30 bucks on that one as well would be cool. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, this one won't be worth much, I don't think. The Nightmare Before Christmas, a two-disc special edition set. 10 bucks, hopefully, for that one. Uh, well, oh, I've done this one before. The Cook and the Chef, the Four Seasons. That one there is, I think, about $30 pre-owned from memory. Uh, and then this one was a bit of a stab in the dark. I don't know much about this one. This is a classic Australian collection DVD set uh, of 10. So a bit of a random one. You've got all your classics in there, like Babe, The Dish, Gallipoli. I'm going to say pre-owned condition may be worth about 30 bucks. How did I go? Did I get close? Are these numbers here similar? I hope so. Well guys, I think we're about three minutes late, but I'm my own boss and I guess I can be, but it really does go and prove the point guys. Have a look at all of that. We've got some awesome items that are gonna go and sell for some great money and hopefully you guys have got a bit of an inspiration to go out and do it for yourself now because there is some crazy money to be made. I'll leave you with this video right here. Let me know in the comments below if you want more lunchtime thrift challenges just like this one. Uh, huge trip to the thrift right there. That was a huge day. Hopefully you enjoy that video guys. We'll see you soon.